name is Wesley Day. I'm a student here at the University of Texas at Austin uh, studying marketing and I'll graduate next year. Um, I grew up in Fort Loudon, Pennsylvania. Uh, went to James Buchanan High School and after I graduated I moved to Kansas City where I was uh, a missionary for a little while for about a year. Uh, after that I went back to Pennsylvania and uh, joined the Air Force and that took me all the way to Abilene, Texas. Um, and when I was in Abilene, I started cycling a little bit and uh, started cycling and got down to Austin a few times and decided I want to go to school here. So uh, that brings me to Dayton. So I first heard about Texas 4000 when I was living in Abilene, Texas. Um, my roommate Luke had a professor who, was, who had taught at UT and she was familiar with Texas 4000. So, uh, one day Luke came home from class and he was telling me about it and at the time we were considering moving down to Austin to study here at UT. And uh, he was really excited about it and told me, you know, we were going through all the, all the pluses of coming here and uh, that was like the biggest one and, you know, at the time uh, I didn't know how I would get involved with it or anything, but uh, I just knew it sounded cool, <laughs> you know. So that was, that was where I first heard about it. And then after that, uh, I came to UT and I was in taking a German class and I saw on the wall a poster for Texas 4000. So I yanked off one of the, one of the little tabs there and, uh, and just applied. Well, I started out riding for my grandfather. Uh, he died of lung cancer in May of 2007. Uh, he'd worked in a steel mill pretty much his whole life and he was a smoker. Um, and so I started out riding for him, and but as I've sort of uh, being a part of the orga organization, I've just really met a lot of people who have, I mean, who've been affected by cancer. So, you know, first of all, Ruel, of course, uh, I know we all ride for him, but um, that was that was really hard for the whole team and me as well. I mean, I I only got to know him for about maybe three months, but you know, uh, that was that was pretty tough, and so I ride for him and. Also, just all the people I've met, like panhandling and at events and stuff like that. I mean, that's just really had a big impact on me. It's changed really uh, what I thought about the organization and you know what I even think about the disease and um, and you know the entire focus of our mission in Texas 4000. So, yeah, it started out with with my grandfather, but it's just sort of evolved into into an entire community of people that I really feel connected to. Texas 4000 is a really public event. We do a lot of programs uh, the whole way up to Alaska along the coast and through the Rockies. And so for me, I really want to raise awareness and tell people what they can do to prevent cancer because we don't have a cure right now. So for me, it's important that people know the things that they can do just to, just to, not, you know, just to avoid getting cancer in the meantime. I mean, we raise money to, uh, for, the, for, the, you know, for real scientists to go out and and, and do research and come up with ways to cure cancer. But I think our goal is just really to sort of be, just to be forerunners and go out and actually tell people what they can do on a daily basis, you know? And it's just not drinking and smoking and uh, just avoiding all sort of carcinogenics in general. I mean, uh, I think that's sort of the impact that I'd like to make through the ride is, is uh, knowledge.